So there's 60 minutes in front of us on a Teal Tuesday. Surprise. We didn't plan this. <laughs> and we are jam-packed. Preseason football just two days away. Why the Bears won't be playing Caleb Williams. Plus, the baseball trade deadline has come and gone. Who made the key moves? Find out. I can't tell if it's giving Jaguars or if it's giving Titans. I don't know. Dolphins. We'll also, right, exactly. We'll also preview some basketball. Team USA's game against the South Sudan squad. They gave a little bit of a scare in exhibition. But we will vault now we're not asking anything else about the Super Bowl runners up without starting with Brandon Ayuk. So where are they at right now with his negotiations? He's got so many people to talk to about it because it feels like every single year another 49ers player is doing exactly that. We heard Debo Samuel say the same exact thing. Let's talk about his quarterback, Brock Purdy, yeah. who's entering his third season. He, of course, took the Niners to the Super Bowl where they lost last year. In terms of his progression, where's he at and what's he looking to do? Purdy had a pretty good QBR last year. In fact, it was the highest in the NFL. I'll wait for your booze till you get back here in Bristol. Jeremy Fowler with the latest from Santa Clara. Kevin? If you have not yet combed over the entire NFL schedule, let me tell you, there is so much to look forward to, okay? So the schedule features nine playoff rematches, including all four divisional round games, both conference championships, and the Super Bowl. But which team has the best odds to win next year's Super Bowl in New Orleans? For more, we turn it over to Tyler Fulgham.